Hi, this is Eddie Joe, and welcome to another video in my series on Excel tips and tricks. In the last video, we were talking about how to use the count ifs statement, um, and I think I used it over here in the summary tab, the count ifs statement. So we are going to make our uh, spreadsheet look a bit more professional and a bit more dynamic by using some interaction, and we will be designing some buttons, and then we will use macros to control those buttons. So first of all, if you look at the top, you see we've got um, home, insert, um, we've got the page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and so on. But there's one missing. There's not one of them where we can really see. I mean, we can view macros, but we can't really make any or use any macros. So there's something missing, and that's called the developer tab. So I'm going to show you how to add the developer tab. You have to click on file on the left-hand side, then go down to options, uh, inside options you want to find the customize ribbon option once you're in the customize ribbon on option you will see there's two um, columns the one on the right and you can see there is the developer one that we need to so you just check the box and you say OK and then you can see we've got the developer uh, tab over there and yeah we've got recording macros and all sorts of things that we can use so we are specifically interested in the insert option and then we want to go there's quite a few options but we want to do the form controls and then the button form control so that's what we're interested on this uh, we want the record macro but we're also interested in that little button so we're gonna where will we be putting our button so we need maybe something called home or menu or something like that some sort of a tab so I'm just gonna add a tab over there and I'm going to double click it and just call it menu so it's our menu tab if I want to reorder these I can just click and drag the one that I want wherever I want it so I want the menu in the front so I move that there nothing else will change for these so I've got the menu tab on the menu tab we're going to insert from the developer tab we're going to insert a button so I'm just gonna make a button let's make it that size about nine cells long and um, as soon as I draw it you will see it wants to assign um, a macro so we're gonna say we want to have a button that basically takes us to the main page to the lookup page and to the summary page and then on each of those we want one that brings them back to the menu page and you can add as many as you like obviously so I'll just show you the principle of what I've done so I'm gonna call this one the main the main one and you've got the option of saying record a macro so I'm gonna press record the macro name I'm gonna keep it the same as as the main I'm gonna say OK and now you can see there's a button and there it says stop recording so we can actually start recording very simple when I'm gonna click this button I wanna to go to the main tab and I wanna be on this uh, page over there so I'm just gonna click maybe over there and then I'm gonna say stop recording so I stop recording I go back to our uh, menu button uh, menu tab and there you can see there's a button if I now click on this button it takes us to the main tab so what we can do with this is right click and we can edit the text and we can call this uh, main so we know that's our main button you can also uh, resize the font so I'm just gonna go to the home tab and then just choose something slightly bigger maybe a 28 28 um, seems to not be working apparently there we go so that is the how to change the size of it so obviously when we click on it it takes us there and so on now you can also um, put this on any any one that you want so for example that goes to the main but if we want the same button on those two all we have to do is right click and copy then we go to for example the lookup page right click and paste that puts us right here so what I'm gonna do with this one I'm just gonna move it and actually I'm gonna put this at the top I'm gonna put it there right there click away now when I click on it it takes us to this one we don't have to recreate the buttons we only have to copy and paste so I go to the summary and I even paste it there and uh, oops and I'm also going to just click away actually right click and then click and drag it to over there 
so it looks nice and neat so now again I can go to the main tab so that's how you create these buttons so I'm just gonna show you how to get back to the main menu so I'm just gonna go to main and now I'm gonna create a button over here as well so I'm gonna go to the developer tab click on insert select the button and then I'm just gonna draw the button again the same size as relatively to the others I might resize it in a second um, I'm just gonna put that there the macro name is going to be uh, menu because I want to go back to the menu page and I'm going to record the menu button so you can see it says stop recording so I can now just go click on the main menu tab menu and then I'm right here I'm just going to put that behind there and then I'm going to say stop recording just to hide it that's the only reason I've, I'm doing that so when I go back to the main, if I now click away and click on this button, it takes us to the menu tab. <coughs> so just going back, and I want to rename this one as well. Edit the text, then I'm going to change that to menu, and I'm also going to just highlight that and change that to size 28 as well. So it looks relatively the same. There we go and I'm just pressing escape to get out of this one so click on that it takes us there main takes us back there yep so that's how to create the buttons and then again same thing right click copy I go to the lookup I paste it over there and then I can move it to the other buttons now here I can see it's not the same size as the other one so I'm just gonna change that slightly so it looks a little bit better a little bit better like that and um, Oops, let me go back there. I'm just going to right click and then what I want to do, I just want to check the size regarding this one. There we go. And then I'm going to put it back over there. So now I've got a, a main one and I can also at the moment go to my menu one. So if you use the same principle, um, you can create buttons. Um, you have kind of a, a menu page where, where you can have all your buttons and they will take you to the menu tab you can also go to the lookup tab to the summary tab and so on so I'm gonna go go ahead and, and create buttons with macros for the rest of my um, tabs and then I will show you at the end I will show you that I've created them so I'll be with you in a few seconds hiya so I'm back now and I've created the three buttons the obviously the main one you've seen but what happens now is I click on the main button, it takes me to the main tab and then I can go back to the menu, um, I can go to the lookup tab, back to the menu, summary tab, back to the menu, or with the click of a button. If I go to the main uh, tab, I can then from there go to lookup, I can go back to main, I can go to summary, I can go back to main, and then on the summary tab, from the main tab, I can go to the main, um, or I can go to the lookup. Um, oops or I can go to the menu from there and that makes it much easier I will show you in the next video um, we can take the tabs away completely and only operate on these buttons we can take the the lines away at the back um, all these lines we can make them disappear so that it looks much more professional much more like a piece of software so I hope you enjoyed creating buttons with macros see you in the next video